Hi folks, welcome to Chapter 4, Disciplined Priest. The objective of this fight is to kill both bosses. When you kill one of the bosses, the other one enrages, that said. The worm does do some funky kind of just stand in their stuff, even after it's enraged. So you could conceivably fight it for 20 plus seconds on one psychic scream, which I would never plan on getting a second scream out. But he does stand there doing nothing for a little bit. Additionally, to start the fight, the worm has nine stacks of 10% damage reduction, and we remove that in the down phase by having him charge into the fallen stalactites. There will be some eggs that spawn, and if you don't DPS the eggs before they hatch, they turn into worms that do kind of like an AoE bile spit. There's also a totem that spawns that has a cast that no matter where you are, if that cast goes off, you're going to get stunned. And the biggest focus of incoming damage is going to be Fell Burst, cast by Two God Blood Totem. We deal with that by rotating Psychic Scream with anything else, and that anything else could be Mind Games, which I'm going to primarily rotate with. It could be a defensive CD. Uh, it could just be fully topped off without having Angelic Bulwark proc. And you'll see in the video, if you're topped off all the time, you're generally pretty safe. And there's a magic dispel, so dispel yourself. But here we go. And keep in mind that even though the worm starts with the damage reduction, uh, hurts the wicked or your shadow word pain dot, uh, should and will transfer a full atonement amount of healing. And we mind games the first, Felbers, which makes it still do damage, but it's results in about maybe 20% of your health versus a lot more. So Penance is going to fully one-shot these eggs if it's empowered by either from Darkness Come Light or, you know, the one that gives it volleys. There's our fear for specifically this phase and then the self-dispel here. Now, while you're trying to run the worm into the fallen stalactites, just the first charge is way easier to get two rocks with due to just having more options positioning when three are up that said you can get two there the objective is obviously getting three those will take off stacks of his buff and we just eat this fell burst topped off with the scream nothing extra that means um we didn't play well here's the totem purge the wicked crits but you don't need a crit for it to kill it like, you do want to dispel that, but that's always going to be, like, lowest priority. After you've taken care of the fell burst, after you've healed yourself, after you've shielded yourself, right, then you... And again, the Biosphere eggs just get demolished. And this is what you would call, like, the most fortunate... So I'm kind of right where I was, and he's opposite me, and he's going to go through two right off the bat. But see here, we got a fear, we got a totem. Cleanse is coming up. Again, cleanse not urgent, but you should take care of that shit, right? And now we're just kind of dancing around one rock, making sure we don't get hit by that X, which always stays longer than I remember it. Totem. And I know, like, right here, if I had Psychic Scream up, this would be perfect. I know we use it for the other phase, but if you have it here and you can stop a Scream and a Felber at the same time, like, that's the way to go. But again, I, you could probably take all of this damage and just heal it and just make the fight be 10 minutes. And I think my Shadowlands video was 10 minutes. But we got the double coming up here, the Psychic Stream, and no, we just, I guess, yeah, I guess it wasn't coming up. But we did, you know, we still stopped his Sonic Scream, which means we don't have to worry about casting or not. And we're going to start, we're not at three eggs yet. We will get to three eggs in this fight, and this penance just shreds the eggs, like probably a bit too much. And we take this fell burst, I guess we can say we're waiting for Angelic Bulwark to proc the bother playing well, I guess is what I would call that. Also, the, the little ring around the fall sort of totem, I don't know if that like means it'll extra kill you, but you get stunned and you take damage. And most classes means you're dead, but you can pain up if you're in there. And see, here's the situation where that psychic stream is going to come up and I get... Both, I don't get both. You know what? I got fell bursted, but I did get the uh, sonic scream. So I guess P 
peaks and valleys, swings and roundabouts. Also, just told him. Sometimes, also, right here, I'm playing a little more zoomed in than I need to be. I don't know. Stodems can spawn in that back, and then you can like not see it, and you just get stunned, and you're like, mother. But yeah, three. Here's three eggs. You know, one just goes down to two mine blasts with a dot. Kind of shreds it, and we don't even have to do rocks anymore. The the worms debuff has been long gone. Here's our fear totem. Dispel last on priority is that dispel. So two guards getting low. I never notice the health values of the worm change when it's submerged. Not well. But we got the mind games off before the screen, which is nice. Playing a little bit more aggressive with the buttons because we just want to get them low. And see, so here comes pains up on this because I haven't set anything else up and I don't my fear, but I did press a button. And bulwark was coming up too. So we, we can be a little lazier again. Or say we're being lazy intentionally. And then we're phasing, and remember, it's just eggs now and not getting charged because the charge will stun you and do a bunch of damage. You don't want that to happen. We're dotting up. I don't know if dotting up all of them at the time. I guess that third one did take about half its damage as the dot. And we eat that one immediately getting angelic bulwark back on uh, ICD. But yeah, so if I had to be like super nerd about it, you would dot one and, and then fight that one last. And the other ones you would just hard cast you know, mind blast and penance and smite. Also have divine star. I'm not sure I've cast it once. And see, that seemed like a good fear, right? I got I got two things interrupted, but now I don't have fear. And one of them is about to die. Two guards got 8k health. So if two guard died right now and that screen goes out, I'm dead. Right? Unless I pain stuff would bring it to like 18k. So you barrier and rapture spam, you might be able to live it. Either way, that's not happening. You also don't have to get the, you know, rocks crushed to advance the phase or anything. Isle spitters don't get buffed, to my knowledge. So you just kill them, and now we have Psychic Stream back up. We're going to top ourselves off. Don't get hit, because I'm guessing this charge is empowered. <laughs> Who's to say? And then we pre paints up. And we fear the scream, just in case. I don't know. He has some new attack, right? And he's a dead boy. That's this, Priest. I want to thank you guys for watching. We'll catch you tomorrow in the next one.